Sarah Plus is a standing and raising aid for short transfers, such as raising from bed and transfer to wheelchair, or from wheelchair to toilet. Sarah Plus is also suitable for walking training when the footboard and knee pad are removed. Sarah Plus is intended to be used where the patient can bear weight on at least one leg, is conscious and able to understand instructions, can undergo moderate pressure in the lower to mid back, and must weigh less than 420 pounds. The Sarah Plus has two sets of controls to help the caregiver. One is on the lift and the other is on the handset. There are buttons to open and close the chassis legs and to raise and lower the arc rest. The standing sling is easy to attach and fasten with the sling attachment cords. The substantial belt ensures the required level of support, but also look and feel very safe, which considerably enhances a patient's feeling of security. There are a number of sling sizes identified by the trim color on the sling. Yellow is medium, green is large, blue is extra large. The size of the patient's sling should be determined in advance and noted on the patient's assessment. The patient should be seated on the side of the bed or lean forward in the chair. Before approaching the patient, the caregiver should always tell the patient what they're going to do and have the correct size sling ready. Although a patient can be put into the sling with the Sarah Plus close by, it may be easier to do so with the Sarah Plus moved away. Encourage the patient to lean forward slightly to enable the sling to be placed around his or her lower back. Position the sling around the patient's back so that the bottom of the sling lies horizontally with the patient's arms outside the sling. Ensure that the support strap is separated and brought loosely around the body and is not twisted or trapped behind the patient's back. The support strap must always be applied when using the sling. To fasten the support strap securely, press the buckles together. The strap should be tight but comfortable for the patient. Once the sling has been fitted, the Sarah Plus may be brought close to the patient. Be sure the battery is charged. Make sure the green power button is depressed and press a button on the handset or lift panel. The indicator light will show if the battery is green and charged or if it needs to be replaced with the secondary battery unit. Adjust the height of the patient's support arms to avoid approaching the patient at eye level. Make allowances for the patient's arms and any obstructions such as chair arms. An adjustable chassis makes otherwise troublesome transfer routines much easier. This powered feature, controlled by the handset, allows the chassis to be widened to go around bed casters, wheelchairs or armchairs, providing optimum positioning for the transfer. Approach the patient from the front with the lift. Stop before the foot support and knee support come in contact with the patient. When the patient is ready, help or allow the patient to place the patient's feet on the foot support. Push the Sarah Plus toward the patient to easily assist with this. Adjust the proactive pad height if necessary. An approximate guide is to align the top of the proactive pad just below the patient's patella. Carefully push the lifter in closer to make full lower leg contact with the proactive pad. An assessment must be made as to whether the patient requires the lower leg strap because of instability. Apply these if necessary. The chassis brake should also be applied for lifting. Attaching the sling is an easy operation. Simply take the cord through the loop on each side of the sling and fit the cone into the cup and pull tight. When both cords are attached correctly, make adjustments on both cords equally so that any slack is taken up in each cord and the back section of the sling supports the patient comfortably and securely. Lock the adjustment cords down into the cord retaining cleats. The patient should be supported by the sling but not pulled forward too much. Stand to the side of the patient, placing your hand on their shoulder for reassurance, if possible. The patient should then hold on to the patient's support arms with one or both hands. The patient is then ready to be lifted. Encourage the patient to use existing leg strength and muscles to activate and assist themselves into a standing position. The handset allows easy control of the lifting and raising action while allowing the caregiver to stay close to the patient. 
Use the lift button on the control handset to raise the patient to a suitable and comfortable height for the particular function. Remember that if the control handset button is released during the lifting or lowering procedure, powered motion will stop immediately. For their safety, the patient's feet should always remain in full contact with the foot support. When lifting, check to ensure that the patient's feet do not lift from the support or floor. If this should happen, lower the patient immediately until his or her feet fully reach the support or floor. Always check that the sling adjustment cords are fully in position and locked before and during the commencement of the lifting cycle and in tension as the patient's weight is gradually taken up. If patients can stand well and lock their knees in the normal way when fully raised, their knees will come away from the proactive pad and they will be able to perform a standing exercise while having the safety and comfort of the sling. Patients who can only hold on with one hand, such as those who have suffered a stroke, may still be lifted with the Sara Plus, but their disabled arm may be secured against the patient's body during the lift. Physical therapy should be consulted and this level of patient assessed before being lifted. Once the patient is in a standing position, the lift may be unlocked and moved to the destination chair, commode seat, or toilet. The Sarah Plus can be moved from the caregiver front or from the side, whichever is more convenient. Watch for pinch points to the patient and caregiver as you maneuver the lift into tight areas and through doorways. Because we do not want to pinch the patient's legs when lowering, we remember that we keep the brakes unlocked. Recall that we locked the brakes when raising the patient, but now unlock them to lower. You may wish to remember this with the phrase, lock to load, unlock to unload. Push the lift close enough to the chair or toilet so that the back of the patient's legs are touching against the edge of the bed, toilet, or chair. Prepare the patient for toileting if needed and lower him or her to the chair, bed, or toilet. If the patient is going to a chair or bed, the sling can be removed until the next transfer. If they are being toileted, leave the sling in place until the patient returns to the chair or bed. When the caregiver is ensured that this particular patient is in a fully conscious state and has understood that he or she will be at the toilet, make sure that the brakes are locked. To take a weight with the scale on the Sarah Plus, simply push the scale button. A net weight without the sling can be calculated by pressing the scale button before or after the transfer with the sling on the lifter bar. The Sarah Plus can also use a walking sling with or without the knee pad attached to help with ambulation training. Let's talk about some other details of the Sarah Plus. It has two rechargeable batteries and a charging station. The battery discharge indicator, located on the cover above the battery, shows how much power is left in the battery. It is best to change the batteries every 12 hours for maximum battery life. If the indicator shows amber, the battery should also be removed and charged. The caregiver should not use the lift when the light indicator is red. To remove the battery, push the button at the top of the battery pack, then pull it out carefully. The second charged battery can be inserted into the Sarah Plus by placing the bottom in first and then pressing the top end in until secure. To charge the battery, take it to the charging station, carrying it firmly by its handle and plug into the charger. If the battery is very low, it will take approximately eight hours to charge. The service meter displays how much the unit has been utilized for important preventative maintenance scheduled procedures. In the event that the handset and lift controls will not function, turn the emergency lowering tensioner knob to safely lower the patient as needed. The Sarah Plus can be cleaned by wiping down with disinfectant. All surfaces should be wiped down between patients. The Sarah Plus makes everyday patient handling routines and transfers safer and more comfortable for caregiver and patient and promotes rehabilitation. Using Sarah Plus helps to improve both the standard of care and the working environment.